Okay, so we're at the stage now where the prototype is basically in the final design. So we've built the hulls for the actual main boat and they're ready to have all the different stuff put in. And we've also, this is basically what's going to go into the main boat and it's just a matter of doing some testing. You can see the, uh, the rudder goes back and forth with our cool rudder drive system and the propeller goes round and round and the boat will actually steer itself too because we've got the autopilot installed. I'll show you the electronics over here and uh, basically this is all the electronics uh, that controls the boat. This is the main brains, uh, it steers the boat, tells it where to go. This is the uh, rudder control system. This is the electronic speed control for the main motor. This is how it communicates with their computer. We've got three different ways of controlling this boat. There's autonomous, where it's driving itself. And we've got, uh, we can do it, control it by remote control, standard old remote control. And then we can also control it via a computer with telemetry. This telemetry here will go communicate for a, a distance of four kilometers. We can switch it with satellite telemetry, which allows us to communicate with the boat anywhere. And basically we've got this all worked out. It's all functioning. So ba the boat, I can pop it in the water and it will go. Obviously this boat is just torn open. So it looks pretty rough. But if you throw this whole system into a seaworthy boat, which is what the other boat is and what this will be when we throw on the uh, decks, and uh, have the power, it should be able to go all the way across the Atlantic Ocean. And one more thing, I'll show you the, this is the motor up here, since we've got an inboard motor system. And uh, that's it going round and round and round, driving the propeller round and round, pretty exciting. Now if you look over here, this is the sealing system we have. And uh, this is just a basic standard sh um, prop seal. And the problem with this is it creates a lot of friction and it wears out eventually. It's got an O-ring in there which is creating a lot of friction. Um, we are replacing this with a magnetic coupling which basically means there's no hole in the boat. It's using magnetic force to convey the torque of the motor to the propeller and a uh, UK company, UK Flow Technics is what they're called, they're providing us with a top-notch German-made uh, magnetic coupling which is beautiful because a standard seal will last maybe 300 hours max whereas this will last 100,000 hours so it'll last a long long time with the motor going non-stop basically this will be able to go around the planet um, with a system like that so pretty exciting stuff, big thanks to UK Flow Technics